The following is a paid presentation for iGrowGen2, paid for by Apira Biosciences. Androgenetic alopecia, commonly known as male or female pattern baldness, can begin as early as a person's teens, and risk increases dramatically with age. But now a groundbreaking patented technology developed by a U.S. company has been changing the lives of people globally by regrowing hair without side effects at a cost that's a fraction of the cost of surgery, using a scientific technique known as photobiomodulation. They've published clinical proof that they can regrow hair in both men and women without side effects. They've been featured on TV programs and magazines globally. My guest, Jonathan Grath, the head of clinical research for Appear Science, is here to join us. Jonathan, great to have you on the show. Great to be here, Brad. I wanted to go over, these are some of the magazines that you guys have been in as far as I grow in Appear Science. Here's Allure. Here's In Style. Here's Men's Health. Here's Vogue. Here's In Touch. Here's GQ. I'm getting tired holding these up. Here's Esquire. Here's Marie Claire. Here's Aesthetic Magazine. So you, you've been all over, and this isn't just the magazines. You recently, one of the other products that we'll probably get a chance to talk about if we have the time is Iderma. It was just on the Today Show. Uh, I know the president of the company was over in Europe. He was on Sky TV, which, of course, is you know a huge network over there. You're over in Europe. I saw you first on a major shopping channel about 16 months ago. And I was watching and I saw you speaking. You said that 100% of the people that were in the clinical study regrew hair. Now, before you say anything, my immediate thought, and I think the thought of most people watching this program, is whenever they hear about hair regrowth, they think scam. And they think, this isn't clinically proven. Now, I know, because I've been on that network, I know that you can't say that without going through due diligence and the legal department. And so when you said 100% of the people regrew hair, and then you said that women regrew 37% more hair, men regrew 35% more hair, and you said we actually counted hairs, I stopped. And I'll tell you why, and I have a confession to make. For nine years, I've been doing a comb over. And, uh, and I had one of these classic situations where it was thinning. And, you know, I, I buried my father a long time ago, so I you know, figured finally genetics were catching up. So I had it over here, and I was pushing hair around. And it would, when it would really scare me, I'm a swimmer, I'd get out of the water, and I'd see those spots, and I was horrified to see it. How big a problem is this domestically and then globally? We've got about 7 billion people in the world. Is this a problem on all continents and all races? Because you're, you're all over the place. You're in uh, South Korea, Canada. I was texting you, you're on the way to Toronto. Um, you're on the way to London. You, you appear over there. Germany. So you're on all these shopping channels. Is this a problem everywhere? Well, you know, hair loss is really universal. Both men and women both lose hair genetically. It's an inherited trait from mother or father, skipping generations, begins in the 20s and goes from there. In my experience, actually 100% of men over the age of about 30 probably have less hair than when they were 20. Whether or not they choose to do something about it, that's another question. Too many people, I think, just simply don't know that they have choices or they've tried so many things before they're afraid of making another mistake. They've tried things before they didn't work for them, they found them difficult to use, they possibly had side effects. That's one of the exciting things about the iGrow is it's a technology and a solution for men and women's hair loss that's clinically proven, clinically proven safe, FDA cleared for both men and women. In multiple countries. In multiple countries. FDA cleared for men and women with no known side effects. You can't do it wrong, so we won't let you make a mistake. We've made it easy to do in the comfort and privacy of your own home. And there's only one thing that someone can say for sure when it happens to you. It's going to get worse fast, or it's going to get worse slowly. It's not going to get better on its own. It's not going to stay the same. So if you do nothing, 10 years from today, you will have less hair than you have today. Maybe a little, maybe a lot, but you will have less. Well, what happened with me is I started to think, well, should I try the drugs? Hmm. And, and then I looked at the side effects of those drugs. And in my case, that wasn't going to match up. And it's sure, certainly in my age, I said, you know, you're just going to have to move hair around. And then, of course, it wasn't bad enough to go get a hair transplant. And it, it seems to me, because I've been using the iGrow now for about five months. Mm -hmm. And what happened was, is I expected to see results really, really quickly 
because that's kind of one of the things that you're always hoping for mm-hmm. is for something to happen. But what happened is, is I went and I picked up the phone. I spoke to Dr. Michael Hamlin, who's an associate professor of dermatology at Harvard University. Mm-hmm. He's one of the most brilliant scientists I've ever met. Uh, absolutely amazing guy to speak to. And I asked him, and I was thinking about this. I said, how do you describe photobiomodulation as a science? And he said something to me, and I'll never forget. He said, it's a lot like photosynthesis. What is photobiomodulation, and how does this work from a technical and scientific standpoint? In simple terms, the simplest way to explain it is human beings are photosensitive. The secret is using the right wavelength and strength to get the chemical reaction you want. What's it like when people use this and they start to see your hair regrowth, and how long does it take? You have to be very patient with a hair loss treatment, even hair transplantation isn't instant. It takes six to eight months to really grow long enough to really see the benefit, the cosmetic benefit. I'd encourage anybody who's who's looking at any hair loss treatment, you really just have to be patient. Anyone who's used it for a month or two, you might start to see a little something if you're lucky. But don't be discouraged. Four to six months is usually when you see a cosmetic improvement. Now, your FDA cleared to treat male and female pattern baldness. Yes. Right? Yes. And so you wouldn't be able to say that unless the FDA approved it. Right. We're yeah. very clear and we're very excited about our clinical studies. We didn't send out a piece of paper and say, how do you feel about your hair? Is it feel thicker or fuller? We wanted a real clinical well, that's, study. That's not a clinical study. That's no, it's baloney. not. Well, so what we did was two double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical study where some people were using a sham eye grow that, that basically w- guaranteed not to work. We wanted to compare the results. and. In these two double-blind clinical studies, 100% of men and women using the iGrow grew more hair in 16 weeks. Yes, it, 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 they were real double-blind clinical studies, multi-location, doctor-supervised, where a small section of the scalp is shaved down, a little dot is tattooed. You count the hairs. Then over the course of the next four months, count the hairs again. The same pl- thing in the placebo group. Have another third party count the results so they don't know if they're counting the results from right. placebo or the real. Lying doesn't help our numbers. We took those and in these two clinical studies. Because the placebo, we'll talk about the placebo effect in a second, but go ahead. In the two clinical studies, everybody grew more hair in the the non-placebo group. Remarkably, it wasn't a little bit. It was 35% more hair in men, 37% more hair for women. These these are the first studies of their kind. We published them in a peer-reviewed medical journal, submitted them to the U.S. government for vetting, Uh, received our FDA clearance, our clearance in Canada from the Ministry of Health, and have submitted it to the governments and the equivalent FDAs of multiple countries. Every country has its own version. Now, as you'd mentioned, to be on the shopping channels, the process to go through that, the things you're allowed to say, these are the, this is the reason why we're so pleased with those studies. They allow us, instead of saying, a certain number of people noticed thicker, fuller hair. Right. I could notice I'm 10 feet tall. It doesn't make it so. We can actually say, I grow hair growth system, clinically proven to grow hair. One of the things that's interesting is you're the only company ever to have, in hair regrowth, to have 100% of the people go through a double blind, and we'll talk what placebo control means, because it's, it's re- doctors and scientists go, Ooh, placebo yeah, control, it's real, it's real. <laughs> and, but, but the normal person doesn't know what that means. But you're the only company ever to get 100% of men, 100% of women, Average regrowth with men, 35%. Average regrowth with women, 37%. In four short months. But here's what blew me away. You guys are the first company to ever make a medical device for hair regrowth and approved in China. Is this problem a problem as global as far as, is there a difference? Do certain people, do Asians have more hair or more people in the Middle East, do they have more hair? I mean, what happens? Is this global or is it just Well, it is global. Human beings are human beings. But... Because genetic hair loss is just that, genetic, it's inherited. So if you see hair loss in your family, regardless of your race, regardless of your nationality, uh, I certainly, I've spoken to many, many thousands of men and women when I worked in hair loss clinics with some of the top physicians specializing in hair loss in North America for over a decade. So I've talked to thousands of men and women and some of them would come in and say, I don't understand, it's not in my family. The only thing I could say is, it is now. It's like saying blue eyes aren't in my family because my parents don't have them. Well. My grandfather could, my great-grandfather could. It can skip generations. What we found is that hair loss is a universal problem because it's a human problem, men and women. It's thought to be a male thing specifically. We kind of wear our our hair loss out there on our our heads, I guess. Uh, 
it's a little different emotionally, certainly for men and women. Men will shave their heads. They'll joke with each other, call right. each other chrome dome. You know, right, right, that's right. how men are. What I discovered is, apart from the science involved in hair restoration, the emotional factor for men and women, men, we don't, we don't like it. We're not happy about it. Sure. When it happens with a woman, there are no jokes about a woman right. losing her hair. Women don't joke with each other. They don't even talk with each other about well, it. Well, we're, we're gonna go to the phones in, in just a minute and talk to some of those people. That We've got people that are online that are calling in. Now, what, what about men that have been bald for 20 or 30 years? I mean, is there any hope for them or are they just pretty much out of luck? Well, there's options. There's always options when you're experiencing genetic hair loss, but all legitimate hair loss treatments require that there be some hair left in the follicle. As long as there's some life left in that hair follicle, it can recover to be the hair it used to be. Fortunately, we don't just lose hair and it never grows back. It gets thinner, finer, shorter. So say you, if you used to cut your hair once a month or once every two months, now it's once every four or five months. It's getting slower and thinner and finer and seeing it erode down. Get it before a tipping point and the hair can recover. Now, as you were saying, someone who's shiny bare up there, you're really on, your only option is a hair transplant, which is moving some active hair follicles from where you have a little more than you need in this back donor sure. area to where you need more. But, but does that work for women or is it just for men? Hair transplantation? Yeah. It works for both men and women. Uh, but what about, is it less effective for women? Or it's not is it so much the effectiveness. The problem is that women, men lose hair typically from the top of the ears up, almost exclusively. It's very rare for a man to lose hair here. About half of women lose hair globally all over their head. So for a lot of women, they're not good hair whoa, transplant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, th so they're losing it everywhere. All over they their head. They gotta be freaking out when that happens. Absolutely. And the problem is then for transplantation, there's nowhere to take it from. They don't have a donor dominant area. Uh, I had anybody who's so interested that, in So that's transplant. why the hair transplant doesn't work as well as they don't know, because we've got a lot of hair back yeah. here. Usually, yeah, and it's all about supply and demand. So you have to have the supply to take care of the demand, which is all the better reason for anybody who's experiencing hair loss to jump on it early. The sooner you start, the better results you're going to get. Some Similar to if you're experiencing, if you're uh, going through a, a weight loss program or trying to get in shape. Right. If I had a diet guaranteed to make you lose 30 pounds, Fabulous. Do you want to lose 30 pounds now or when you're 50 pounds heavier than you are now? The sooner you start, the better your overall results are going to, going to be. Don't wait until it's too late. Noelle's joining us from Los Angeles County. Noelle, how are you? Good. I'm doing well. Good morning to you guys. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm sitting here with Jonathan Graff. But I saw you on television. You actually absolutely jumped off the screen. And here's what struck me when I saw you is you were emotionally shattered when your hair was being lost at such a young age in your 30s. And um, what was the first thought? I mean, when I saw you, did you start to think you were sick? Whenever I would shower, I would have like clumps of hair just coming out every time I took a shower. And when I would brush my hair, there would be long, dark hair all over the floor after I was done getting ready for the day. How did you feel when you started seeing the hair come back? You know, it was, uh, it was pretty amazing. The hair part was starting to... Uh, starting to fill in. What I have been able to do for myself was I cut my hair, I cut it like above my shoulders and I dyed it and it looks awesome. I'm super excited. So, so the hair regrowth has stayed look. with you. So so the results from eye grow have stayed with you even though you stopped using right. it. Wow. Right. And I'm not losing hair like I was before. Like there's when I take a shower, I'm not having clumps of hair falling out anymore. Amen. Like none of that stuff is happening. That's Noel from Los Angeles County. Thanks a lot for the call. And we'll go to our next caller. Hi, Irina. Uh, how are you today? I'm good. What happened with you? I mean, how did how did your was your hair loss sudden? My overall hair actually was getting kind of thinner, and quality was completely different than obviously 30 years ago, 40 years ago. And the side of my forehead would look like it's bald. So after probably three months of using I Grow, I start noticing that the side of my forehead start kind of uh, filling up. And it was actually a very good feeling because this is something that I've been struggling with for a couple of years. And every time I come to my hairdresser, He's literally telling me I have no one of my clients whose hair grows so much. Every time I come like two, in two weeks and my hair grows at least probably half an inch. So in a year, my hair grow like almost to the middle of my back. So that I grow not only make my hair thicker and uh, it's actually the quality is 
better. I mean, I'm I'm like honestly, I'm very surprised because I was very skeptical of all this. <laughs> well, no, it, it, it's exciting. It's exciting to hear this. So, it's really made a transformation. Do you feel better about yourself using this? Oh, absolutely. Because to me, honestly, you can put the, the, the nicest clothes and the most beautiful makeup. But if your hair looks horrible, you're not going to look good. I mean, to me, you put a T-shirt and a jeans and your hair looks shiny and healthy and you look wonderful. For people that are sitting out there, um, especially women that are sitting there watching, should I get this? Should I try this? What would you say to them? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's really, it's, it's uh, changed my hair. Uh, it's, it's just make me so much more confident and happier. <laughs> because for me, I, when I look good, I feel good. Right now, if you're watching and you're wondering how to get this, we've arranged a special opportunity. And this company has gone global. You're in over 60 countries, yes. right? So what's happened to this and the price, when you hear the price, it's just going to blow you away. But if you are interested, there's two types of people watching. There's people that have the problem. There's people that know someone that have the problem. And they have a special website. This is the only authorized place to get the eye growth, the second generation, the latest eye growth to come off the line. And you can reserve yours now. They're able to be shipped to you within three to five days. You just go to 25minutehair.com. That's 25minutehair.com. And the, I think the reason that's relevant is I've, I've done this three times a week for 25 minutes mm -hmm. a time. And it took me about six to eight weeks to notice because I kept on looking. Hey, where's the little, you know, it's, it's like the little it's plant like when I was a kid. Every well, I was waiting. I was, I waited. Yeah. So, so after about eight weeks, I started to notice a change, especially up here where there'd been nothing. And then I started using it every day because I said, you know, if it's working like this, maybe I can try it. And, then, mm -hmm. and I actually checked with the doctor, you know, Dr. Lance, and I said, is it okay to use it every day? And he said, yeah. Oh, certainly. Well, most hair transplant doctors, the, certainly the leading ones, are also incorporating <laughs> lower level light therapy and photobiomodulation into their practices. Frankly, if you're not, you're almost doing a disservice to your patients not offer them all of the options possible. Shoot every arrow at it that you can. Let me jump in here. We're going to go to the phones and uh, take some calls. Delvis Diaz joins us right now. Delvis, where, where are you calling from? What part of the country are you in? I'm actually in Southern California. You know, I saw I saw a picture of you before and after, and I have to admit to you that uh, at the age of about 53, I started doing a comb over and moving my hair around. You saw amazing results. How long did it take before you saw the results? With me personally, I mean, I, I probably about six to eight weeks and the significant results after that. Before I was introduced to I grew my hairline, my front part of my hair was just thinning out. And then when I was combing it, I don't feel I was pulling hair out, but it was just getting thinner and thinner. It was a challenge. And that's when I started to notice, like, okay, I am getting older. It kind of worried me. I mean, it kind of made me feel uncomfortable looking to the mirror and my confidence going forth. And, you know, especially dealing with my clients and my, my profession. And what profession are you in? You're probably in something where you deal face to face with the public. Yes, I do. So I'm actually in the medical sales profession. No and, kidding. Uh, I'm definitely in face-to-face in -face with the public every day. On a sales basis, did your sales go up as as you started to become and get your confidence back? Did you start to become better closing? Oh, absolutely. When using the product, I felt my hair was getting a little bit fuller and thicker. I was able to comb it better, kind of cover up that receding hairline to make it kind of even out on my forehead. So it, it actually brought a little bit more confidence to me. For people that are sitting there and they're, and they're wondering if iGrow works, what would you say? 150%. Absolutely. And this will work. This will give you that look, that fuller, thicker, healthier hair that you're looking for. Well, Delvis, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for calling in. Sarah's on the line for this. Let's talk about your hair. And I know that um, when this happened to you, it was pretty traumatic. Did it happen quickly, your hair loss? No, I wouldn't say that it was quickly, but I would say that once I started noticing the hair loss, it really affected me. When I noticed the patches and base where I had like bald spots, that was when I knew the extent of the hair loss. So so what did you look at as options when that happened? What were you thinking as far as different so approaches and options? I had I had tried a bunch of different things. So for a while I was using um, a powder that was covering up the bald spots that was, you know, like a scalp 
uh, cover up. Sure. So I was doing that for a while. Um, I didn't like the effect that it had on my hair. It made my hair feel uh, not natural and kind of sticky, and I didn't like that. Then I had moved on to gel that you put in your hair that's supposed to help your hair grow, but I didn't like how that made my hair feel. So I I had tried a bunch of different things. I had tried like the the mascara wand that kind of, you know, colors in the patches, but I just wasn't really satisfied with any of the results. So then you then you found eye grow and how yes. quick how long did it take you before you saw visible results with eye grow? I started seeing results after about five weeks. I started seeing little patches come in, uh, and that was really just the beginning, and that sort of motivated me to continue to use it. The best part is there's no gels. There's no powders. Mm -hmm. You go about your day. You do this in the evening. You you don't see any visible um, effects of your actual hair. Mm -hmm. It's really just the scalp and it's, it's sort of being done invisibly, which is so nice because then once you start to see the hair grow in, you're like, I like, I can't believe that this actually worked. It's sort of like a miracle. I'm like, wow, you just use a light on your hair and it helps your hair grow. I don't have to use gels or oils or powders and my hair grows. For people that are sitting out there, especially women, and they've got this problem or they're under stress and, and they're losing hair, what would you say to them when it comes down to whether they should get an eye grow or not? It's 100% worth it. Look, Sarah, thanks for joining us. Malik's calling in on the phone from Southern California, correct? Yes, that's correct. So you're in a pretty stressful place. I have to ask you, was there someone in your family that genetically had hair loss or was it genetics and stress or what was, what was going on? How, how did it happen for you? How did you notice it? I would say my mid twenties. Uh, I noticed wow. that it started uh, just thinning, you know. So I didn't think anything of it. But to ask, answer your question, uh, my dad is balder than a basketball, but he had lost his hair. I want to say in his late twenties. Now, for people that are sitting out there wondering whether they should try eye grow, what would you say to those people? Just give it a try because I would stand by it that it really does work. Thank you, Malik. Thanks for calling in today. Bridget joins us by phone. Did hair loss happen for you gradually, or was it something that happened quickly? And, and what happened to you emotionally? Because I've been doing a comb over for seven years before I got eye grow, and, uh, and I was trying to hide it, although I became more and more sensitive to it. What, what happened in your case? Well, it was definitely gradual, and I didn't notice it right away friends of mine did as did my hairdresser and when i get my hair cut i'd look in the mirror to see what the back looked like and i started noticing what i thought used to be just like a cowlick the way my hair parted was actually more because it was thinning out mm. um i kind of just tried to style my hair differently but eventually I started seeing it come out more and more in the shower as well and vitamins and I think there was something, uh, a liquid that I put on my head to see if it would stimulate hair growth and nothing helped. When you got to eye grow and you started using it, how long was it before you start, started to see visibly hair growing? I think it was probably almost eight weeks. People commented on my hair, which is really interesting, that it looked a little bit different. Oh, is, did you style it differently? Did you color it? It looks a little darker. And the darkness, I realized, was from the new roots growing in. Wow. So, you know, it's, it's interesting is when people start to notice a cosmetic change and you get the smallest compliment, what does it feel like? I stood taller. I felt I was happy. Right. It made me a little bit more confident. I'm sure with men as well, but for a woman to start losing her hair, I see it in other women. I notice it more now than ever because of my situation. I notice it now, women that have the exact same problem that I do with the thinning in the forehead and the back of their scalp, and they're trying to tease or style their hair differently. I feel for them. And I see how bad it looks, too, I'm <laughs> sorry to say. Well, no, I think the hardest thing as we get older is you try to look your best. We're no longer in a society where, you know, you got to look good. 
I mean, it's no longer an option. It's kind of an obligation you have to yourself to look good because people judge you on your looks. And yes. for people that are sitting out there that are men or women, and they've got this gradual hair loss, and, and that's how it happened for me, uh, what would you tell them about using an eye grow and getting an eye grow? I've tried everything else. I've tried liquid. I've tried vitamins. Um, tried changing my diet. Anything internally that I could do, and nothing worked until the eye grow, I actually see the results, not just by comments from friends, but those photographs don't lie. It's not vain to be concerned about your appearance. It's smart. Light therapy and photobiomodulation is the only treatment for genetic hair loss for men and women that is not surgery, not a drug, with no known side effects. Think back to when you first noticed your thinning or find a picture of yourself from then. Now look at yourself now. Do you have more hair? Do you have less? Are you the same? Chances are you have less. If you're not going to do this, what will you do? Simply watch it go? Simply try to stay yeah, the same? It didn't get better for me. Nothing gets better. No. We don't youthen, unfortunately. Yeah. So one of two things again is going to happen. Five years from today, if you choose to do nothing, that's your choice. It's your hair, it's your head, it's your life. You will have less hair than today. It's nice that that's a choice as opposed to this is happening to me. So if you'd like to take more control over what you will look like, not just six months from now, but a year, five, 10 years from now, this is a good choice. Here's the offer you won't see anywhere else. Get the second generation iGrow, just $2.99, up to 50% off of what people paid globally. $149 for the reconditioned iGrows. Those are extremely, extremely limited. And you get the three-year warranty and a six-month money-back guarantee. There's no hidden charges and nothing else you need to buy, only iGrow. Saw 100% of the people in clinical studies regrow hair at an average of 35% more hair. And yes, they counted hairs. Here's how you can get yours. 100% of the people in our published clinical studies regrew hair at an average of 35% more hair in just four short months. If you don't grow all the hair you want in the next four months, using iGrow Gen 2 just three times a week for 25 minutes, we'll buy it back from you. We'll even pay for your return shipping. It's sort of like a miracle. I'm like, wow, you just use a light on your hair and it helps your hair grow. This will work. This will give you that look, that fuller, thicker, healthier hair that you're looking for. Don't wait. Don't put it off. Stop losing hair or doing a comb over. Fight back and feel better about yourself. I actually see the results, not just by comments from friends, but those photographs don't lie. Looking good is no longer an option. It's an obligation you have to yourself. Be one of the first 100 callers and we'll upgrade you to a five-year warranty. A $199.95 value for free. Be sure to use the promo code and get free shipping. Call the toll-free number on your screen or go to 25minutehair.com. The proceeding was a paid presentation for iGrow Gen 2, paid for by Apira Biosciences.